I'm Ann Messerschmidt, the Environmental Resources Specialist with the City of Lakeville, and we're here today to talk about the invasive species buckthorn. This is a plant that, if you have trees near your yard, this plant is probably growing in it. So the leaves are very oval like this. Um, this is glossy buckthorn. Um, and when you kind of handle the plant, you'll get poked <laughs> by little thorns. It's kind of where it got its name. Uh, the buckthorn, there's really short little pointy, they look like stems, but um, that's on there often. It's very um, kind of spotted and sliced looking along the whole stem, especially toward the bottom. But this is a smaller plant. They can get very big um, and be quite tall. They can have six inches or more diameter and they can be 15 to 20 feet tall, but they start out as one little wisp that's like finger width. This, in particular, this plant is a female, and you can tell that because of all of the berries that are growing on the plant. These in particular, the female trees, are the ones you want to manage because they spread the plant so readily. The reason why you want to control buckthorn is it kind of creates no ability for anything else to grow underneath it. So if there was a baby oak down there, like there is, it will choke it out and it will never be able to grow because it shades it for far too long. The reason why we want to look at buckthorn, it is September right now. This is a really good time to start trying to see if you have it in your yard because um, it will hold the green much longer than other plants. So it'll become really obvious in early October where the buckthorn is. You'll see it just driving down the road. It'll be all the green that you see that's left. Um, the fall is the best time to manage buckthorn. There's a number of ways you can manage it. If it's um, around an inch to three inches, I mean, this is getting kind of bigger here, this, this growth by this fence here. It's getting a little too big to use a puller, but if you had smaller buckthorn, we do have a puller that you can rent through the parks department. Uh, we have about five or six pullers that you can rent for a week and that's a free of charge. You just kind of put a deposit down. So that might be something you can do in your yard. If you do pull it out, you're gonna to wanna to stamp down the dirt that you pull it up from and just make sure you're not creating more places for weeds to grow. Um, the other way um, that is done very frequently is cutting it in the fall, either with a saw or a lopper or something if it's small enough. And then you take, um, there's actually, bingo daubers that you can buy <laughs> and like get rid of the ink and add the chemical in there so that you can put that chemical right on the root um, because the fall is when it's really sucking in all the nutrients and we'll we'll take then all that chemical in and kill the roots off that's why fall is the best time to manage buckthorn this october and maybe into november we're going to have goats out here out at east community woodland about 13.7 acres are gonna be managed out here with the use of goats. This is the second year we'll be doing that. As we use the goats over time, it really puts um, the buckthorn into stress and it makes it so it doesn't proliferate as much and they do a really good job eliminating the seeds. When it goes through the goat system, it, um, they've been studying it and they've been finding it's not causing uh, plants to grow from those seeds as the reason buckthorn does so well is the birds eat the seeds and it acts as a diuretic and it just goes right through them and then the, the seed just gets spread everywhere. So again, we manage invasive species because we want to keep the native vegetation around. It's better for all the wildlife and all the natural ecosystem. So if you do have buckthorn in your yard, we do have things on our website um, and even other videos that I've shot about buckthorn and how to deal with it. So you can check those out. Otherwise, you can give me a call at 952-985-4528.